a spirit, the spirit that comes, hallelujah, from the things we do, or we do not know, hallelujah. And we think that what we are doing is right. And sometimes which is not right, hallelujah. I just want to run to the to the word of God to Deuteronomy. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 18, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 11. I'll first read the scripture so that we can dive into the the, 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 the familiar spirit. Hallelujah. The word of God says, Hallelujah. Amen. You all charm, all consult with the familiar spirits. So, which means if the word of God says that there is a familiar spirit, that means people are bound to the familiar spirits. Hallelujah. The word of God in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 11, love now, it says, Cast spell, ask ghost consult the day so the familiar spirit sometimes man face through consulting the dead people hallelujah always hallelujah, hallelujah. oh my goodness i don't know how I'll, I'll touch all the spirits but i really want to touch all the spirits using the word of god hallelujah so the familiar spirits function sometimes through the dead people familiar spirits can manifest through yoga hallelujah maybe there's some people but let me tell you, whenever you do yoga, the position you make, let me tell you, those are the positions that are made by the kingdom of darkness. I urge you, brothers and sisters, if you do yoga, go to the go to, to Google and Google where the yoga where came, where the yoga came from. Hallelujah. And what the people do when they are doing yoga. So that's a familiar spirit. That's some things that can chain us through yoga. Hallelujah. The familiar spirit also it can come from drugs. Hallelujah. Amen. The things we partake, hallelujah. Mm. The things we partake. I just, why, 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 why am I saying this? Times we, the, the word familiar, like to be like the same. Familiar is like to be like everyone. Oh, it's some things that comes to make you being familiar to everything. So when people are partaking alcohol, I just want to give an example of alcohol a little bit. You know, that like. There is different types of alcohol, hallelujah. And you know, sometimes mm -hmm. we give ourselves confidence or we give ourselves say that, oh, alcohol is bad. bad. But I can give you multiple scriptures that shows you how bad alcohol it is. Let me tell you one thing that shows you that alcohol is the it has also like spirits. You know, like if, if you if you if you have ever partaken, because I have partaken vodka, sometimes some vodka it's written that it it, con it contains the vault means spirits. Hallelujah. So the moment yes. you're taking alcohol, you're partaking spirits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allowing the spirits to enter you. So which means whenever the spirit of alcohol enter you, sometimes you do not have the authority over yourself. You do not have authority mm -hmm. over the conscious of the Holy Spirit. The spirit that is guiding you or leading you. Hallelujah. Familiar spirits, mm -hmm. hallelujah, they manifest through a passive mind. How does passive mind work? So I, I, I googled what is a passive mind. Passive mind is the assumption that life has happened to you and you're not responsible. And people with mm. the mindset also that says like this, why does things always happen to me? Mm. Mm. Familiar spirit, when you have a passive mind, it, you're always nagging. You're always saying, oh, why always these things happen to me? Every time you do not tend to see good things that happen to you, you always tend to see bad things happen to you. Hallelujah. But God really Amen. wants to give you freedom tonight. I can also give you like um a scripture in First Chronicles. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 10. First Chronicles chapter 10, verse 13. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If there is someone can just share it so fast, that would be great. 10 13. Hallelujah. First Chronicles 10 13 says, Let me just go. So that because we have unfaithful to the Lord. He did not keep the word of the Lord and even consulted the medium for guidance. So sometimes, hallelujah, hallelujah. familiar spirits can manifest through dreams, hallelujah, bad dreams and holding on to the people who have already passed away. Hallelujah. So familiar spirits, Oh, I'll give also, if you can read also First Samuel chapter 28, I'll just also try to use my time really good. Hallelujah. First Hallelujah. Samuel chapter 28. I'll, I'll just give scriptures so that you can read them after this. Hallelujah. But familiar spirits can be manifested through the dreams. Like when you always dream bad, bad things, every time you do not sleep. Hallelujah. Every time the familiar spirit comes and you have like night husband. Night, night, night wife, hallelujah. Night mayors, hallelujah. Mm. Every time mm. familiar spirits can come through, hallelujah. When you always hallelujah. have conscious, own, when you always hold on to the people who have passed away. 
And remember, yeah. when people pass away, they become spirits. Hallelujah. And every yeah. time when you look for help, and I don't know if you're here, and every time you call upon to your uncle who passed away, if you call upon help to, to your mom who passed away, if all you always call upon, oh, hallelujah, mm. the help to the father who passed away, if you always call upon help to the, to the uncle, to the grandma, to the grandpa who passed away, let me call you. You're welcoming familiar spirits to your life. But tonight, if you believe in God, I can tell you and I can show you, tonight you're going to be delivered. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just want to be first to, to uh, because I want to share a little bit of things that holds us back so that we can have freedom in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to talk for a little bit on the spirit of divination. What is the spirit of divination and how does the spirit of divination manifest? What is the spirit of divination? Mm. Hallelujah. The spirit of divination always manifests in witchcraft. Hallelujah. Spirit of divination mm. always manifests in magician, fortune telling. Hallelujah. I just mm -hmm. want to go to uh, Acts chapter 16. Hallelujah. Let's go to Acts chapter 16. I will just share like some scriptures so that we can read it after the service. Hallelujah. Verse chapter 16, verse 16 to 18. Hallelujah. It says, Paul and Silas in prison. Verse 16. Once when we were going to the place mm -hmm. of prayer, we were made a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. She earned a great deal of money for her own fortune telling. She followed Paul and the rest of us shouting, these men are the servants of the Most High who are telling you the way to be saved. Hallelujah. Because that's mm -hmm. the spirit of divination can manifest through fortune telling, through, hallelujah, the false, the false teaching, the false prophets. Hallelujah. 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 The magician, the horoscopes, the things we trust in, and we do not even know what we're trusting in. The horoscopes, that's at the fortune telling. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. the spirit of divination can also manifest through rebellion. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let, let's just keep on on verse 18. She kept this up with for many days. Finally, Paul became annoyed and turned around and said to the spirit, in the name of Jesus, I commend you to come out of her. At the moment, the spirit left her so if you have mm. any kind of spirit of fortune telling or witchcraft mm. maybe you go somewhere to maybe you go to people to just tell you the future hallelujah to the mm. things that doesn't belong to the kingdom of god tonight we are going to break all those darkness hallelujah we are going to break Amen. hallelujah those things <laughs> upon your life let's jump Amen. into the word of god in malachi hallelujah malachi chapter malachi chapter 5 verse 12 hallelujah mm. Mm. Malachi chapter Malachi chapter 5 verse 12 it says hallelujah it says i will destroy your witchcraft and i will no longer cast spell hallelujah. i will destroy your idols and you you are you are sacred stones from among you you will no longer bow down to the works of your hands i will uproot uproot from among you you are shells for when i demolish your cities hallelujah okay. so tonight one thing i can just tell you allow god Allow God to uplift any witchcraft, any things you trust in, hallelujah, Amen. any things you have made the kingdom into you that is not into the kingdom of God. And mm. guess what? The spirit of divination, the, the, the rebellious spirit comes from the spirit of divination. To become a rebellious, you can become rebellious to the word of God, not to honor the word of God. You can know the word of God, but still become rebellious to the word of God because you can know the word of God and still not obey the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. and tonight we're going to cast all that spirit out hallelujah and tonight it also the the spirit of divination comes with fear and i'll talk also to the spirit of fear and one thing brothers and sisters i can tell you the spirit of fear the spirit of fear you remember the god didn't give us the spirit of fear when you have fear remember fear is the faith of demons hallelujah yes. the moment in your life you have fear remember that you're having faith that is not coming mm. from the father the faith you have is coming from the devil Hallelujah. Mm. But the only fear a man or a woman of God should have is fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And also we'll go, we'll go through that. I just mm. want to share the, the scripture also, Isaiah 2 6. If you can just read the scriptures later on. Hallelujah. I just want to mm. speak also on the hallelujah. The spirit of jealousy. Ah, hallelujah. I know I may come mm. to your room today, I may come to your house, but allow me. <laughs> to solve this truth, to embrace the word of God so that tonight we can walk in freedom, so that we can break the chain, so that we can live freely life. Hallelujah. Yeah, amen. So amen. how does the spirit of jealousy work? We live in the world full of jealousy.
We always look down to our brothers and sisters. All the good things, we turn them down. We do not want to support each other. When somebody is raising, we want to turn them down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How does the spirit of jealousy man face? Hallelujah. I will just ask the person who is sharing the scriptures, if you can go to Genesis chapter 4, verse 4 to 6, where Cain and Abel, hallelujah, you will see where the, the root or the beginning of the spirit of jealousy, where it came from. Hallelujah. Genesis hallelujah. chapter 4, verse 4 to 6. And also if you can go all the way down to Genesis chapter 37 to 3 to 8, I will just go so fast so that we can finish all these spirits, hallelujah. The spirit of jealousy, how does it manifest? Let me tell you, the spirit of jealousy can man manifest through revenge. Every time when somebody did something wrong to you, you do not settle, you do not have peace until you revenge that person. Mm. And imagine, that's the kingdom of God, darkness. Remember, I just want somebody to, to, to give us um. If if he if somebody can give us Genesis chapter four verse chapter four verse four to to verse six, and Abel brought an offering, Hallelujah, fat portion from the sum of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, Hallelujah. So the spirit of jealousy can manifest through anger, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Hallelujah. If you mm. do not even every time embrace, hallelujah, the mm -hmm. success of others, sometimes you may have that spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy Trade. The spirit of jealousy can come through hatred. Every time when someone is progressing, you always tend to hate them. Sometimes, let me tell you the spirit of jealousy, the way it manifests. Sometimes you may have a brother or a sister. When that person is rising, when that person is going high, instead of supporting him, and you start looking down on that person, that's a spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy always creates competition in people. Mm. Every time when you see, let me tell you, there is no one who can take your blessing. There is no one who can steal your blessing. Hallelujah. But every time something that can reveal to you that you have the spirit of jealousy is when someone is going different route or if somebody is succeeding on different different level and you start competing with that person instead of focusing to your father and look for what he has prepared for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want someone to share Proverbs 6.33. Hallelujah. Proverbs 6. 33. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just want to talk about difference. Oh, hallelujah. Proverbs. If you can be fast, that would be great because I'll be using the one who will be sharing the scriptures here. Hallelujah. 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 Proverbs. Go, if we can go fast, mm. that would be awesome. Proverbs 6, 6 34. Hallelujah. Mm. Proverbs. Oh, go to 34. Go to 34. Hallelujah. I, I'm still on the spirit of jealousy. We are going tonight. We are going to break all the chains. If we are prayer warriors, if we want to go higher, if we want to bring the kingdom of God on, onto Amen. this earth, there's some things we, we need to shut down. Hallelujah. The Amen. word of God in Proverbs 6, 34 says, For jealousy allows us a husband fully, and he will also show no mercy when he takes a revenge. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Hallelujah. Mm. So Amen. I just want to go to, to, to a perverse spirit. I just want to talk about, about perverse spirit. How does the perverse spirit manifest? Hallelujah. I just want to mm. give the scriptures so that person can just put the scriptures right away. But I just want you to bring me Exodus, Exodus chapter 20 verse 13. Exodus, Exodus chapter 20 verse 13. And bring Proverbs chapter 122. If there is someone who can help the person who is putting the scriptures, that would be great. Mm. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22. And Proverbs 2 12. Hallelujah. How does the perverse spirit manifest? Perverse spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much. But well, you shall not murder, hallelujah. You shall not murder, hallelujah. Then go to, to Proverbs 2.12, 2, 2, So the, the, the perverse spirit manifests through a broken spirit. Every time you feel downcast, every time when you call upon the name of the Lord, let me show you, hallelujah. Let me show you how the perverse spirit works. Every time when you call upon the name of the Lord, you, you hear that God is not near you. You always feel that God has, has left you behind. Every time you feel like you're disciplined, there is no one who loves you. There is no one who cares about you. Every time when you pray, do not connect. Hallelujah. Mm. The perverse spirit always manifests with evil actions. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to see if 
So already, okay. So let's go to, to, to Proverbs 2, 12. He said, wisdom will save you from the way of the wicked man, from men who are words are perverse. Hallelujah. Then the, um, Isaiah 19, 14 says, the Lord has pulled into them the spirit of dizziness. They make Egyptian stagger in all that she does as drunkard staggers around in his oh, as as drunkard staggers around in his vomit. Hallelujah. So the perverse spirit always comes through the spirit of atheism, atheist, not trusting God. Sometimes you rely on your own understanding. And remember, the, the mind that is governed by the flesh is death. The mind that is governed by spirit is life. Hallelujah. The perverse spirit always manifests into child abuse. Maybe you have the perverse spirit sometimes can enter you through the abuse you have gone through when you're still a child. Maybe molestation. Hallelujah. Maybe somebody has raped you when you're still young and you do not want to let go of that. You're still holding on to the past when you're still young. But tonight, I just want you to, to leave that spirit that is abounding you to be stagnant to be in the same position. Hallelujah. Tonight, you're going to uproot those spirits and we're going to declare and declare over our lives that we are going to move forward. We are going to receive all what God has prepared over our lives. Hallelujah. The perverse spirit can manifest through a filth mind. Doctrine Ella. Hallelujah. My God. Amen. If you can bring also Acts chapter 13, verse 10, that would be awesome. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 1, verse 17 to 32. Amen. Perverse spirit. Doctrine Ella. It's when you... you Doctrine Eli, it's when you, when it's the word of God, understand and accept the power of God, but they do not believe it. Hallelujah. Mm. Many people, they are preaching the gospel, but they are not living that gospel. Hallelujah. Mm. And if you're here tonight, if you're preaching the word of God, if you're speaking about the goodness of God, if you're talking about the grace of God, that grace that have been extended to you, you have to, when you have the life in you and life in abundance, Hallelujah. You live according to the word of God. Amen. Amen. And, and let me tell you, the perverse spirit can come also as what Gladys said, the sex perversion, where people are preaching the gospel and they're living in the word of God, but they're living in a sexual life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I know, I know I may talk to you, I may, I may sp speak to you, but tonight I just want you to be free and to be free indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Twisting the word of God. The, 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 the perverse spirit comes through the twisting of the word of God. Where people just twist the word of God to, I don't know, I don't know how I can just phrase it, to make their soul feel better. Hallelujah. Because of, we misuse the grace of God. Because of what Jesus had done to Calvary. And we live in the life of sin. And we proclaim the word of God. And we do not live into that word of God. And again, we twist, we twist the word of God so that we can live the, the, the life we want. Maybe we live, okay, I just want to give an example. Like, for example, because I have this stronghold that is on me of maybe sexual desire. Hallelujah. Every time I preach the gospel, I do not want to tackle that. Mm -hmm. And I make it better so that I can walk in my sexual desire. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So also, the, 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 the way of perverse is when you're living in a sinful life and you just use the word of God to make what you're doing great or good or maybe to look perfect before the people, but inside you, when inside of you, you are falling apart. Let me tell you, when the word of God is pulling you, marabu shata, there is nothing that, oh my goodness, you do not live according to word, but you live according to the spirit. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. And the power Amen. spirit can, can, can bring <clears throat> the chronic worries. Hallelujah. Chronic worries. Every time to be terrified. Every time to feel that there is something bad that is about to happen to you. Every time to feel that you're, you're, you're going, your life it will not stand. To always feel that there is nothing good will happen to you. Always to think that God has chosen some people but not you. Every time to think mm. that God will bless other people but not you. Hallelujah. Perverse mm. spirits always bring people to the darkest of pornography. Where you live in the life. Hallelujah. Where you are born mm. to pornography. Sexual desires. Hallelujah. I will just try to be so fast so that I can speak to other spirits. Hallelujah. If you can bring me First Samuel chapter 15, verse 20, 20, 23, and Proverbs 1, 22. First Samuel 15, 23. Hallelujah. Proverbs 1.22, I, I will talk about the spirit of huntsmen, the spirit that hunts people, the spirit that hunts the people of God. Hallelujah. 
The spirit of huntness brings arrogance to people. And let me show you how the spirit of arrogance or the spirit of huntness manifests to people. Every time you're arrogant, you do not want to communicate with other people. When you're arrogant, you want to be far from people. When you're arrogant, you don't want anyone to give you advice. And every time when you see that manifesting to your life, know that it's some spirit that has entered you. But tonight, we are going to break that spirit. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. The spirit of happiness, hallelujah, sorry. The spirit of hunting is always manifesting pride, hallelujah. And let me tell you, if you have pride, you cannot be free. If you have pride, you cannot encounter the kingdom mm. of God. Because every, anything God really wants us from us is just a heart that is broken, the heart that surrenders fully to the Lord, hallelujah. Mm. The spirit Amen. of hunting always be revealed through the idleness. Sometimes to worship things. Sometimes to worship what you have. Sometimes to worship the people that is around you. Sometimes you do not want to submit to the Lord. You want to, to, to worship the people that is around you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The, the spirit Amen. of hunters always manifests in streets, self-deception. The lie we always tell ourselves that we are good. We do not need anything. But brothers and sisters, every time when we start looking to ourselves, instead of looking to the Father, let me tell you, that's a deception. That's a deception. Amen. Let me tell you, the spirit mm. of huntiness always reveals through self-righteousness. Mm. Hallelujah. To be right to yourself. Oh, I want to be right to myself. I do not need anybody to understand me. But let me tell you, submit to the king of to the king of kings. Submit to God. Do not submit to yourself. Do Amen. not be righteous to, you, to your eyes, but be righteous mm. in the eyes of the king Amen. of kings. Hey. Amen. Let me tell you, the spirit of hunting brings rebellion. Let me tell you how the spirit of rebellion also works. Sometimes if you do not want to surrender fully to God and you just want to use the word of God to comfort your sin, to comfort, hallelujah, your brokenness, to comfort your spirit, that's when you find people, they don't even want to pray. Hallelujah. That's when you find people. They are living double life. How do people live double life? It's when you're partaking things of the world and you're partaking things of the spirit. Hallelujah. Every time when you feel bad, you do not run to the Father. You, you run to your own things. Maybe you run to pornography. When you, do not feel, you, when you do not feel good, maybe you're angry. Maybe you feel bitter. You do not run to the Father. You do not call upon the name of the Lord. And the, you go back to, the, let me tell you, the, the, the way that spirit manifests, sometimes people manifest, that, that spirit manifests. When you're not connected to the Father, you run back to, to the old things. You find yourself, if you used to like, watching things on youtube maybe movies you find yourself being into movie when you're depressed or maybe you feel like you feel like the, when you feel the spirit of hunting is oh that spirit of heaviness you go and watch movie and you find relief on things of the world instead of finding relief into the kingdom of god and let me tell you those things doesn't give you the relief it's a relief for the short period of time and you go back to the world and you go back to the evil things but let me tell you something that will give you the relief it's just to close yourself into prayer dive into prayer even though when you don't feel it just go through into prayer dive yourself into prayer hallelujah amen, amen. hallelujah the spirit amen. of the spirit of hunting always manifest. I don't know if somebody can share with us Proverbs 324. The spirit of hunting always reveals through rejecting God, rejecting God. And always that spirit, the spirit of hunting, the spirit that hunts you, that wants you to not be in the presence of God, it always hunts you. So the, the, sometimes also that spirit can be manifested through rejecting the word of God, through rejecting that God is God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. I just want to go through other, other spirits so far so that we can end, also that we can see how we can be delivered from those spirits. I just want to talk with the spirit of heaviness. If you can bring me Proverbs chapter 15, verse 18. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18. Proverbs 15, 13. Proverbs 12, 18. How does the spirit of heaviness man's face? Excessive mourning. Crying over people who have gone. And you cry over years and years and years and years and let me tell you this spirit this spirit of heaviness goes hand in hand with the spirit of religion hallelujah hey. hallelujah the Amen. spirit of religion also manifests to hold on to the things that have passed away hmm. i don't want to talk to the to the religion maybe you may be come from one legion or another but for me i i i i used to to be in a religion where they ask people who have passed away to pray for, to pray for them to their father. Mm. Instead of you who is alive, remember Jesus has have died. For so you and me, we can go straight to the father. 
Amen. without asking anybody who have passed away to mm. to to bless us or to call God for on our own behalf. Amen. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sorry Amen. to say this. I know I may enter into your house tonight. Let me tell you the spirit of heaviness, the way it manifests. So grief. Hallelujah. This spirit Amen. can manifest through insomnia, not sleeping during the night. And let me tell you, sometimes when this spirit comes of heaviness, this spirit of heaviness when it comes and you don't sleep during the night, trust me, sometimes you do not even pray. You watch a movie or you go to old things or you call people or you become distracted. You'll be here and here to the social media. And instead of operating during the day and you find yourself operating during the night. Hallelujah. This spirit Amen. manifests through self-pity, rejection, brokenhearted, hopelessness, depression, suicidal thoughts. Hallelujah. This spirit Amen. always brings suicidal thoughts, the spirit of heaviness, because it's not Jesus operating in you. It's a spirit operating in you, in a heart, torment spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you, every time when you moan and cry for people who have gone, hear me out. It's not bad to remember the people in your family who have passed away, but not to call upon, not just to associate yourself with them. There is no way you can associate with people who have passed away. There is no way. There is no way. Brothers and sisters, I just want you to break that spirit tonight. As we pray, as we aim in few minutes, I just want to pray for you so that you can break that spirit because it's a bondage that will not make you progress, but you remain in the same position because you're holding on to the past. Because remember, when people when people pass away, it's the past. It's the past. It's not the present. Mm. So when you hold on to the people who passed away, you're holding on to the past. And that spirit comes with unforgiveness. Not to forgive yourself, not to forgive other people. And you hold when you hold on to unforgiveness, let me tell you, you live in a bondage life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just want to go so fast to the spirit of infirmity. If you can bring Luke chapter, I, Luke chapter, um, if somebody can give me Luke chapter 13, 11 to 13. Amen. Luke chapter, in, chapter 13. Hallelujah. Luke chapter Amen. 13, 11 to 13. This, I, I will use the story in general where Jesus was healing people. Hallelujah. And the woman was there who had been crippled by the spirit for eight years, see the spirit, hallelujah. That woman was crippled by the spirit eight years. She was bent over and could not straight up at all. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, there are some sicknesses that comes with the spirit, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hand on her and immediate, immediately, she strengthened up and praised God. So tonight we are going to pray. Any kind of spirit, hallelujah, the spirit, the spirit of infirmity manifests through diseases, arthritis, and you find yourself that your arm cannot be straight, hallelujah, without anything. You find like tingling into yourself. Sometimes you find you, your stomach is always upset, sick every day, here and there. You're always sick, hallelujah. The spirit of infirmity, hallelujah, brings oppression. Hallelujah. And your mind doesn't sit to every time you're longing. Oh my goodness. I just want to go to also even the same, the same scripture in John chapter 5, verse 5. John chapter 5, verse 5. I will just go run to the spirit of deafness, deaf and dumb spirit. Mm. Hello. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, we can become dumb and deaf to the word of God. Amen. If mm. you bring Matthew chapter 9, verse 32. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 9, verse 32 to 33. And Matthew chapter 12, verse 22. Deaf, deaf and dumb spirit, how does it manifest? Hallelujah. Loneliness, crying. Every time you, you find yourself in the position where you cry and cry and you go into the room and you close your door and cry without anything and you just find yourself every time you're doing that. Hallelujah. Blindness, mental illness. Hallelujah. Ear problems, suicidal seizures, secular music. My goodness. I know, I know I'm coming for some people. But let me tell you, the moment you listen to secular music, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, secular music, it's an adore to the evil to enter your life. Mm. Because remember, most of the things, most of the secular music, most of the songs, what, they, what do they preach in those songs? They're, they're preaching murder. They're preaching sexual immorality. They're preaching the oh, even people don't love me, uh, I, I don't care, I have to survive. They're self-righteous. 
Like those songs are full of malice words. Those songs are full of evil things. Sometimes you feel like, oh, people doesn't trust me in my future, but I don't care. Sometimes you find yourself, you're fighting with the spirit instead. Of, and you think that you're fighting with people. Mm. but you're fighting yourself those songs bring evil things the moment you meditate sometimes let me show you how the secular music can take over your life most of the times when you listen to those songs you find yourself even when you're sleeping you dream those songs sometimes you find yourself even sitting and being quite like this and those songs come again into your mind true over and over and true. over mm. Death and dumb spirit brings obedience to the people of God. How does disobedience manifest? When you face some problem, you don't want to go to God. I, I talked about this, but you want things that give you comfort. Mm. Sometimes when you, you feel like you, you, you feel like you're disappointed, you don't go straight to the Father. You go to the things that gives you comfort. Maybe you drink a lot of alcohol to have peace. Hallelujah. Mm. You go to movie, hallelujah. You find yourself in the position where you don't want to hear even the people of God. Death and dumb spirit make you deny the people of God more often. Death and dumb spirit sometimes can, can make you think that you know the word of God, but you live into the darkness. Sometimes you find people that are drunk and they're speaking about the word of God. Mm, true. Death and dumb spirit can make you listen to the evil people. The people who, who has the evil things into them, they impart you through giving you all these words because you do not want to yield to the word of God. Mm. Hallelujah. If you look in Mark, Mark chapter 9, verse 18, Mark chapter 5, verse 5, because of time I'm trying to share the scriptures, I will not go into the details. You can read them. Hallelujah. I'll talk about the spirit of bondage. Hallelujah. How can you be in bondage and how can you be delivered from bondage? The, the spirit of bondage comes through fear, addiction, Hallelujah. The spirit of bondage comes with alcohol, cigarettes. Hallelujah. The spirit of bondage comes with, let me tell you, one thing I know, and I know I'm, 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 I'm attacking, maybe I'm talking to some people. The spirit of bondage, the way it manifests, it manifests through the feminism. I'm sorry to say, it's not bad to be feminist. I'm not taking down the feminism, but it's a spirit that comes and tells you that you can do everything, that tells you that no one can look down on you. Sometimes it's so even you telling yourself that you're looking down to yourself. Why, if you're the children, if God give you salvation, if you're the king, if you're the daughter and the son of the life, why do you always think that people look down on you? Mm. Why would you not focus to Jesus? Who doesn't look down on you? And you always focus on people who look down on you. True. Brothers and sisters, let's focus to the king of kings. Let's focus to the kingdom of life instead of focusing to the kingdom of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to talk about the spirit of fear. Let me tell you, spirit of fear can bring a heart attack. I told you, whenever fear kicks in, remember, you're having a faith of the devil. Fear is the faith of the devil. Hallelujah. Every time when the spirit of fear comes, the tormentions come to you. The fear of men. You don't want to be around people. Hallelujah. You want to be around people who cannot tell you the truth. Let me tell you, when you have the spirit of fear, you reject the truth. True. Even tonight, you may reject the truth. True. Every time when you have the spirit of fear, you reject the truth. You do not want to, someone to tell you to change. You do not want to be around people who pray. You do not want to be around people who will love you and usher you into the kingdom of God. You mm -hmm. always run to the people. Hallelujah. Who intoxicates you? People who allow you to be into the life of mis a miserable life. Let me tell you, all these spirits, they bring miserable to our lives. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you. Amen. Amen. Remember, the, the fear brings death. Fear doesn't bring life. So every time when you have fear, call upon the name of the Lord. Remember, God has given us, the, God did not give us the spirit of fear. Amen. 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 I just want Amen. to tackle other spirits. Maybe we'll keep on going next time. Spirit, hallelujah. The, sometimes there are some spirits, the spirit of this, which manifests in, in, in suicidal attempts, suicidal thoughts, every time to think about bad things, not to progress. Hallelujah. Every time you want hallelujah. to do something, but you stay stagnant. Every time you're fearful to do things. Every time you, you're always contenting and want to know what people think about you. Every time. Before you, do, if, before you take action, you want validation from people. You're always doing things for people to see you. You're always doing things to please your friends. But my brother or my sister, freedom comes when you do not look unto people, but when you look up to Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah.
Man. There is a lot of spirit. Uh, I, I may tackle to the spirit of poverty, uh, spirit of ant antichrist, antichrist. That's false teaching. Hallelujah. Believing of things which are not there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Preaching the gospel you do not believe in. Hallelujah. Man. Spirit of lying, slander, gossip, lies, strong deception. Hallelujah. My Man. brothers and sisters, God wants to set us free. He can use, our, he wants to set us free so that we can set others free. So tonight, if you're not something you deal with, I want you to pray and we'll, I will lead you into our prayer. So before, before we go into our prayer, I will just go so fast. How can we be delivered? Maybe you have found there is something that is holding you back. Mm. Hallelujah. How can you be delivered? The main key of deliverance is to humble yourself. Sure. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a lot of spirits that can tackle to. Maybe you share the word of God. Maybe you have crowned and you have lived the life where scriptures are in your mind. But every time you find yourself failing and failing and failing. Why? Why? It's because you do not humble yourself. Brothers and sisters, one thing I can ask you tonight, before we pray for all these spirits to depart upon our lives, we have to humble ourselves before the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have this, if you're the separate tonight, if you're longing to be changed, if you're longing God to come into your life and change that life you have been through, that that deliverance you have prayed over and over, you go from things and you turn back to the things. Tonight is the night where God will set you and free to set you free, and you become free indeed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, tonight, if you want to keep who you are, the image of who you are, you want to associate yourself to the people of the world, you want to still drink and pray, you want to live double life, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, you can't keep your image and be delivered. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't Amen. be proud and be delivered. You can't be proud because the word of God says, let us be, come before the Father in humility and trembling. Amen. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. I don't want people to think that I need deliverance. Sometimes you sometimes you don't want to pray for deliverance because you don't want people to see that you want deliverance. You're longing for deliverance. I don't want people to see that I'm, pos I'm possessed. And let me tell you, tonight, maybe I don't want people to see that I'm fighting this. I, so sometimes, tonight, 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 my brothers and sisters, you either choose people's opinion or choose freedom. Mm -hmm. Man. Hallelujah. I just want you to choose the king of kings. Amen. Choose people's opinion. Oh, choose freedom. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This kingdom, only thing that can set you free is humility. To go before the Lord into humility. If you get rid of what, I just want you tonight to get rid of what people think about you. Get rid of having a validation from people what if my parents see that i'm possessed what if my parents think that i have been drinking let me tell you mm. oh your parents cannot hold your future only person who holds your future is jesus amen what if my friends think me like this let me tell you you either hold on to your friends or hold on to the total freedom surrender tonight amen surrender tonight hallelujah that's amen. when you have the total freedom hallelujah Amen. Tonight, if you believe, you'll be delivered. I just want to run to Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse fourteen. It says, "If my people who are called by my name, so which means you, you people who have received salvation, if my people, then which means we people of God who are called by my name who humble themselves, who humble themselves, which means God cannot humble you." Let me tell you, today you're praying, oh God, humble me, oh God, change me. And there's some things God wants you to take action. Hallelujah. Faith without action is dead. Hallelujah. Oh God, humble me. No, the word of God says, if you will humble yourself, to humble yourself is when God speaks to you. Do not watch those things and you get rid of it. And if God tells you that broken relationship and that toxic relationship, get rid of it and you get rid of it. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we cry before the Lord and he has given us the result just to take action and to humble ourselves. And listen, if my, who are people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn, turn from their wicked ways, which means every time we ask the Lord to turn, every time when we go into sin or maybe when we, we, we go into deception, we want God to take us from the deception and bring it back to the where we feel the presence of God. But it's us. It's our own, it's our own 
twebwe hallelujah mm. it's us who should come back from our evil ways our evil action hallelujah amen mm. and then then the word of god said then i will hear i will hear from heaven and i will forgive their sins and i will i will heal their land mm. hallelujah if you're bound to any of the spirits i mentioned above mm. seek the face of god by praying hallelujah i just want to talk how can we be delivered hallelujah the main key is to humble yourself before the lord mm. hallelujah okay. not to be arrogant before the father can you be arrogant before your parents hallelujah the creator just be humble before him and tell him that it's he's the one that really matters hallelujah Amen. the second point is prayer psalms 91:15 says he will he will call on me and i will answer him i will i will be with him i will be with him in trouble and i will deliver him and honor him so which means when we pray and when we call upon his name he will answer and who he will deliver us from every snare and how he will honor you hallelujah so tonight if you humble yourself and pray hallelujah god is able to deliver you from that hallelujah and one thing i can tell you deliverance can can take some period of time after deliverance after being delivered also I'll talk about that after being delivered you need discipleship you need community of people who pray not just people who who are in the world and people who go to church no you need people who pray who will usher you into that life hallelujah slowly by slowly the renewal of mind on a daily basis on a daily basis every day every day to renew your mind hallelujah yeah. so the first point is to humble yourself the second point is pr- to pray the third point is to seek his kingdom hallelujah proverbs 8:17 i love those who love me and those who seek me find me Amen. i love those who love me brothers and sisters if you love him if you love him if you love him seek him how do you seek him through prayer let me tell you there is no one who calls upon the name of the lord and doesn't receive the reverence close yourself into prayer do not rely on your own understanding do not give yourself your authority to take control but allow him to take control over your life hallelujah amen the last one take turn from your evil ways change your ways change the way you think change the way you walk hallelujah yeah. if you want to be used by god turn from your own ways and seek his ways and always eager to yield to his voice most of us or oh, rebaya sitting things doesn't manifest all things we pray for doesn't come to reality because god didn't speak it or maybe god did answer no sometimes we are holding on to things sometimes let me give you an example hallelujah sometimes we pray let me tell you to turn from your evil ways it's not only turning from states or other things or any kind of sin to turn from your own thoughts your own understanding and rely on his own understanding yeah. most of us sometimes we pray and when we pray it's okay to give you your, your petition to represent your petition before the lord but remember he's the one who brings the petition to reality hallelujah but yeah. most of christians we pray when we have answers we need and we come to the father telling him that we need this hallelujah sometimes we, if the god wants to give us this we reject this by giving him this no i want this so sometimes when this doesn't get answered because that's what you want and god really wants to give you this you reject what god wants to give you hallelujah yeah amen i just want you if you are a warrior if you are a prayer warrior yield to the voice of the lord do not lean on your own understanding hallelujah amen i know and i know sometimes you may need sometimes maybe you may need water but god wants not to give you this god wants you to give you this so sometimes as christians sometimes we pray when god give us this when he sees that we need this and and we are asking for this we reject this hallelujah mm. hallelujah mm. and we broke and we broke things god wants to give us the last scripture hallelujah mm. i just I, i just want to pray in ephesians 6:10 to 12 finally be strong in the lord in, and in the strength of his might put on the full armor of god that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil hallelujah Amen. for we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood but Amen. against the rulers against the authorities against the cosmic power over this present darkness remember we live in the darkness we live in the world full of darkness hallelujah Amen. against the spiritual forces of the evil in heavenly places one thing i can tell you only things you can pray for is to have the spirit of god to have fully hallelujah 
Amen. Hallelujah. The seven spirit of God. The number seven means the divine fulfillment. I just want you to always pray to have the spirit of the Lord in you, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, every time to understand, hallelujah, the word of God, the kingdom of God, to seek his, his wisdom, hallelujah. And whoever asks, he'll give it for free, hallelujah. The spirit of counsel, to be counseled, hallelujah, to understand the spirit of mighty, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of fear of the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I just want to, to use this action in, in trusting God for your deliverance tonight. Wherever you are, I will just give one minute. Before I pray the prayer of deliverance, if wherever you are, if you can get a bottle of water, and if you think that spirit, among the spirits, I have said there is something, you have found yourself that you're bound from that thing. I just want you to grab a water. If you have an olive oil, we are going to pray for it. And I want you to anoint yourself. Hallelujah, tonight. Amen. Amen. Mm. I'll just give one minute, one minute. If you can grab water in faith, hallelujah. If you can grab the water in faith, just one minute. If you can grab water, hallelujah. Amen. If you can just take that you're done. If you can grab water before I release the prayer of deliverance. Amen. If you found there is something, there is something you're being held on. If there is something you're being held on among the spirits I saved. Brothers and sisters, if there is something that is chaining you, something that doesn't allow you to progress, hallelujah. Amen. If we proclaim as prayer warriors in Isaiah chapter 60 or 61, that says the among us, the smallest among us will become a mighty nation. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, we do not need to rely on our own understanding, but we have to surrender and submit fully to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're done taking water or if you have... Uh, an olive oil, or if you have an, uh, um, hallelujah, if you have water, just grab it. So I'll pray, hallelujah. Amen. As you take the water and uh, as you take that oil, I'm going to pray for it. And you apply it wherever you want to apply it, hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. I just want to release this prayer of deliverance. If you can repeat it, that would be awesome. Father, I pray that let this water transform and change the lives of these people. I pray that this oil, oh my God, as they anoint themselves, Father, I pray that every chain be break right now in the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray together. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, if you can repeat wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, we come into the agreement, hallelujah, with brothers and sisters. We know that your word says, where two or three are gathered, you are my Lord. You are my Lord. So there so we came into an agreement Some and ask for complete deliverance that's for complete deliverance lord, lord. thank you thank for you. sending your word for sending your word to heal those who are listening now to heal those who are listening now and delivering them and delivering them from all the destruction from all the distractions we come boldly we come boldly to your throne of grace to your throne of grace and present those listening before you and present those listening before you for deliverance for deliverance we stand in the gap of brothers and sisters we, we stand with the brothers and sisters and pray that the holy spirit fill your people and pray that the holy spirit fills your people father we pray Father, we pray. And we stop all the principalities. And we stop all the principalities. That would attempt to hold on them in, in bondage. That attempts to hold them in bondage. We break the power of the enemy in their lives right now. We break the power of the enemy in their lives right now. In Jesus' name we declare. In Jesus' name we declare. That the traps and the plans of the enemy are exposed. That the traps and the and the plans of the enemy are exposed. Useless and void. Useless and void. And coming to nothing. And coming to nothing. Lord. Lord. Help those listening to hold up their shield of faith. Help them who, are, who are listening to hold on to their shield. To the shield of faith. To the shield of faith. And quench every feeling daddy of the adversary. And quench every 
Say it again. Kill the daddy of the adversary. Say it again. Everything dirty from the adversary. That would come against them. That would that come against, against them. them. We stand in agreement. We stand in agreement. We ask that your plans, Lord. We ask that your plans, Lord. And, your and your calling over our lives. And your calling over our lives. Would come to pass. Would come to pass. Would come to pass. We bind all the evil actions. We bind all the evil actions. We want your will to prevail over our lives. Want you will want to will to provide over our lives in Jesus name in Jesus in Jesus name let's just thank him father we thank you we thank you for your people you're setting free father we thank you for the truth they have heard and they're going to walk into it god father i pray that my jehovah i declare and decree total freedom upon your people my lord father i thank you that this water my jehovah we have prayed for and this my jehovah oil is going to change your people is going my jehovah to set your people free father i thank you for this night i thank you for the word my jehovah you have released i pray that this word we walk in it my jehovah we embrace it my god so that my jehovah we can live a life and life in abundance god i praise you god i give you glory god i give you honor in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome Gladys and Monia. God bless you guys. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much everybody. Uh if you have that water that we just prayed for, uh feel free to drink it right now. And as you drink, you believe it. You think that every time Jesus would heal somebody, first class, you have faith. Man, before you drink that water, before you use that anointing oil, just ask yourself, do you have faith? And answer yourself. And if after you have seen that you have that faith in you, then you can drink the water. Mm. Then you'll be healed. And we cannot wait for the testimonies. Amen. The time of when God comes now, it never goes back for it. And I know there are miracles being performed right now. I know there are testimonies being created right now. Mm. I thank the Lord for all His Amen. Amen. Right now. Glory be to God. Amen. So we prayed. Um, but do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, um, thank you everyone who has joined. Tonight is a night of blessings. I received my freedom. I received, I cast down every single chain that was um, holding my life. And I hope you did the same and keep doing the same, you know, keep allowing the Holy Spirit to expose every chain in your life. You know, it's not, it's not, it's let freedom not end tonight. You know? Let casting down all those chains end tonight. Um, be able to be able to um, notice when the devil is attacking, when the devil is trying to chain you. And as Vincent said, wear your weapon. Be armed, you know, every time. And if everyone can Man. go ahead and write in the chat to bless Vincent. Thank you so much, Vincent. That was a powerful word. Thank you so much for leading us into a, um, a night of deliverance and helping us to um, cast down all these chains that are holding us whether we know or we don't. Um, but if you can go ahead and bless him in the chat, that would be awesome. And as we are ending, I want also Monia to send her number in the chat again. So to those who are new, welcome. I saw a lot of my colleagues and I welcome you guys. Um, and everyone else who is new, we want to remind you that we love you. Thank you so much for coming for the first time. I hope you were blessed. If you want to be part of this family, we are prayer warriors. We are a non-denominational family. And all we want is to grow in the spirit, to grow, um, to get to know the kingdom of God, to be exposed to the secrets of the kingdom of God. Um, so if you want to join us, Monia is sharing her, that number that is posted in the chat. You can reach out to her and ask her um to um to put you in the group in the whatsapp group and um we will keep being blessed together and we can as she said we cannot wait to hear your testimonies guys i know i know a lot of chains were cast down um a lot of people were healed um and we cannot wait to hear what god is going to keep doing to continue doing in your lives you are very blessed may god bless you all we love you 
and you have a good night have a wonderful night and keep enjoying your freedom when jesus um save the people when jesus heal the people when jesus um cast out demons out of people he would tell them it is done for you go enjoy your freedom so i am as jesus said i am telling you go enjoy your freedom amen amen amen, amen. 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 thank you god bless you bless God bless you. God bless you, Monia. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bless you all. Amen. That was wonderful. Amen. So so good. Amen. We love you guys. Hallelujah. Bless you all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Again. JP can give us one last song for worship. You know, as we break, I mean, as you sit, as you meditate on the word of God, wherever you go tomorrow, break every chain, you know, break every chain. God bless you, brother JP. If you can just give us one song, God bless you, brother. For you, only for you, take my life. As a sacrifice, I want to burn for you, only for you, clean my hands, beautify my heart, I want to burn for you, only for you. Take my life as a sacrifice. I wanna burn for you, call me for you. Clean my head, beautify my heart. I wanna burn for you. Only for you, oh, take my life as a sacrifice. I want to go for you, oh, only for you, oh, oh, oh purify my heart. I want to go for you. Only for you, take my life as a sacrifice. I wanna burn for you, only for you. Clean my hands, purify my heart. I wanna burn for you. Only for you, Lord, take my life as a sacrifice. I want to burn for you, only for you. Hallelujah. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope and hope. He never let me down. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground. My hope and firm foundation, he never let me down. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground. My hope and firm foundation, he never let me down. I put my faith in Jesus, my God, to the ground. Oh, my hope and faith foundation. 
He never let me down. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness to me. From the rising sun to the setting, I will praise your name. From the rising sun to the setting, I will praise your name. From the rising sun to the setting, I will praise your name. From the rising sun to the setting sun, I will praise your name. From the rising sun to the setting sun, I will praise your name. Great is the faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness to me. Oh, 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 To break every chain, to break every chain, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is army, there is army rising up. Oh, there is army rising up oh, to break every chain. To break every chain, there is a me, there is a rising. Oh, there is a me rising to break every chain, to break every chain. Oh, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to heal, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. I see, I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. 
Oh, you are. 